Hi gang, this is your favorite Zavardo. loving Shintoist Reigetsu again, and in this channel, I correctly explain the origin of Japan from the mythological times, the gods who created Japan, and the original philosophy of Japan, Shintoism. Today, I will be answering one of the biggest criticisms we get regarding Shinto. Shintoism is misogynistic. I'm gonna jump straight into answering if not the most ridiculous criticism that we get all the time. The answer is, how can we hate women and see them as something inferior if we take orders from the supreme sun goddess herself? The supreme commander of Japan is a woman put in that position by a male god, Izanagi no Okami. Why would we do that and take orders from a goddess if we hate women and see them as something inferior? Uh-oh, retard alert! Retard alert, class! Just because you might have seen some sexist Japanese men does not mean the rest of us feel and act the same way, especially us Shintoists. Just because this sexist man is Japanese does not mean he is a Shintoist. Not all Japanese are Shintoists, unfortunately. Remember, we are nature adorers. We observe nature and apply what we observe within nature to our lives like the Taoists do. I am not saying we copy the ants or anything, but we have a similar structure in Shintoism when it is all about protecting the queen or the goddess, who would be Amaterasu Omikami-sama in our case, as you command, my queen. Oh, I do wish you'd stop calling me that. A female as the center of society. They are also very well structured and organized just like the Japanese society. That's how they tend to win, even though it might not be 100% successful all the time. Oh, Dale, fire ants don't sting y'all at once. Half of them bite, the other half are on defense. Something Shintoism has also done for millennia. I don't know, Peggy. It seems to me it's gonna take more than a bag of flies to scare off these red devil bastards. And for all wannabe alpha males who think of themselves as somewhat like lions, even in the pride, in the end, the females are the ones who take the executive decisions to kick the male out of the pride if they see the male unfit to protect them. The yin is more powerful than the yang, although many assume otherwise. Even in the elements, we can see this. Fire is extinguished right away when the appropriate amount of water is dumped on it, but when we try to conquer water with fire, evaporation takes time and water just changes form into vapor. Condense it and it becomes liquid again. Previously on condensation. Ellen, there's moisture on the outside of my glass. It's condensation, Johnny. But what about the fog on the windows? It's not fog, Johnny. It too is called condensation. Condensation. The same cannot be said for fire. Once it's extinguished, it's gone. My ancestors also saw the female bodies as goddesses, and what they left behind, the Jomon Doki, clearly show a goddess and or a pregnant woman which were honored in the ancient shrines. We believe women are the ones closest to the gods, so we have to treat them like goddesses because it is in our belief that they are the only ones who can communicate with the gods. Hence, the Miko, the Shinto priestesses who were the shamans of Japan. The female energy is a lot more powerful than many give them credit for, and unfortunately, throughout the human history, many male dominant societies have done an awesome job in belittling women just because they are inferior in muscle mass. Here's the irony. Even in these super macho societies run by kings, caesars, dictators, etc., many of them had a woman behind their backs supporting them and or telling them what she wanted by manipulating the men. Oh, the irony! It's too much! Cleopatra, ring a bell. We men can sometimes be so stupid and we can't even see that. You can see throughout history, many dictatorships 
that one alpha male who did not have the full support from the yin energy, who called all the shots, were eventually brought down. We, as humans, become one and truly powerful when the yin and the yang come together. My karate master always said, when a man and a woman or the yang and the yin energy come together, there is harmony. And for all of you who say, men above women, while I respect your belief, I just personally and pretty much all Shintoists agree more with this guy. War, disease, death, destruction, hunger, filth, poverty, torture, crime, corruption, and the ice capades. <laughs> Something is definitely wrong. This is not good work. If this is the best God can do, I am not impressed. And by the way, I say this guy because I firmly believe, looking at these results, that if there is a God, it has to be a man. No woman could or would ever f*** things up like this. So Maybe this is the reason why Japan is so peaceful, safe, and have absolutely no dangerous no-go areas full of gangsters and criminals, thanks to our worshipping of the sun goddess. I am not saying that Japan is perfect. In fact, there are a million different things wrong with the actual Japan, starting with our politicians, but safety is not one of them. I decided to look around for something else to worship, something I could really count on, and immediately I thought of the sun. Happened like that. Overnight, I became a sun worshiper. So every day I can see the sun as it gives me everything I need. Heat, light, food, flowers in the park, reflections on the lake, and occasional skin cancer. But hey, <laughs> at least there are no crucifixions and we're not setting people on fire simply because they don't agree with us. Sun worship is fairly simple. There's no mystery, no miracles, no pageantry, no one asks for money, there are no songs to learn, and we don't have a special building where we all gather once a week to compare clothing. Best thing about the sun, it never tells me I'm unworthy. It doesn't tell me I'm a bad person who needs to be saved, hadn't said an unkind word, treats me fine. So, I worship the sun, but I don't pray to the sun. Know why? I wouldn't presume on our friendship. It's not polite. I've often thought people treat God rather rudely, don't you? Asking you know, trillions and trillions of prayers every day, asking and pleading and begging for favors, do this, give me that, I need a new car, I want a better job. And most of this praying takes place on Sunday, his day off. <laughs> it's not nice. Was this guy a Shintoist Japanese in his past reincarnation? Rest in peace, George Carlin. Thank you for all the laughs. Even when we have sex, we Shintoists say women are the protagonists in sex. Please check out my last video on how we Shintoists view sex. We men are the yang energy, the energy that gives, and women are the yin energy, the energy that receives. So, the Shinto philosophy is, we, men, have to pleasure and please women first by sending them energy of pleasure as we are the yang and they are the yin. We, men, are there to serve women. True male satisfaction and gratification are felt when we have truly pleasured and satisfied our women. So, the view of Shinto when having sex is, men, make yourself happy by making women happy first. Only then can you attain true happiness via sex and not the other way around like the world of porn will have you believe. If you watch porn made by men and porn made by women, you can easily observe that they are totally different. One is purely bestial, more male pleasure oriented, and the other one is more sensual, more women pleasure oriented. Which one do you think women truly want then? But don't get me wrong. We Shintoists are not pansy beta male cuck femtars who tries to satisfy their wives, if they have one, with doing absolutely everything for them and acting like a slave for them and bowing down to all of their orders. In Shinto, we reject weak men or men who is not in alignment with the principles of Kamurogi, which I will talk about in the episode of Izanagi no Okami.
the ancestors of the samurais, one of the fiercest warriors in the world, the Yamato warriors, were more like this. You bring the crowns and heads of conquered kings to my city steps. You insult my queen. You threaten my people with slavery and death. Oh, I've chosen my words carefully, Persian. Perhaps you should have done the same. Madness. This is Sparta! Leonidas looks back and sees and thinks of the woman first, then lastly looks at his queen to even get her permission to kick the Persian messenger into the pit. This is the Shinto philosophy and attitude. But what women have to know is don't have sex with someone you do not approve. You are in the position to choose. Make the wise decision and only have relationship with a wise man who understands this concept. Once women choose, they need to accept and embrace their men fully and not bitch about something we didn't do perfectly. What we men do, we do with love, and for women to point out everything we didn't do with perfection to criticize is not something you should be doing. Don't be... Your basic bitch. We each have our own roles to fulfill and different ways in showing our love, and once that is fulfilled, we are truly happy with one another. While we don't agree with man over women, we are equals to each other but with different roles. It doesn't make sense for women to go hunting for mastodons while we men pick berries although women won't be rejected to go hunting in the Shinto mentality when she proves she can be just as much of a help. Although from the Shinto men perspective, we wouldn't want to see that because we want to protect her and we'll feel bad if we see her getting hurt. We would feel guilty. That's just how we are. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share this video and subscribe to my channel to get the true facts about Japan starting from the ancient times. Coming up, what sexual orientations are rejected? What position in particular is not recommended? Is premarital sex prohibited in Shintoism? What is the true symbolism of Shinto shrines? Please stay tuned to find out more and as always, Yasaka!